On 14th of April, the same passed a bill to establish a state commission to investigate Russian influence on Poland's internal security during the years 2007 to 2022. Work is now underway in the Upper House of Parliament. However, the Senate Legislative Committee voted against the bill. A body is appointed that has a judicial administrative inquisitorial character with no real possibility of procedure. Government members said that the Commission will also thoroughly investigate the years during which the United Right was in power. The opposition's fear is huge as it will turn out that in fact these arrangements that were carried out by Donald Tusk's civic platform and PSL are far-reaching, further reaching than we imagined. And I think this is probably one of the main reasons for this opposition. Civic Platform has announced a boycott of the Commission. However, Valdemar Pavlak, Deputy Prime Minister in the POPSL government responsible for signing an unfavourable gas deal with Russia, announced his readiness to appear before the new state body. If they are not afraid, if they have nothing to reproach themselves with, then I wonder what objections they might have. The truth has not harmed anyone. It is those who are afraid of the truth who are afraid to speak about it in public. The bill is also being criticised by the left. We approach this, unfortunately, but with black humour. This is a farce for us. What is being proposed is that it is supposed to go back to the period of just being in power by the POPSL coalition, and yet the Commission will not manage to get to the later time period. The POPSL government was implementing a reset in Polish-Russian relations. Under this previous government, military units in the strategic eastern part of the country were liquidated. We want a dialogue with Russia as it is. Lack of dialogue does not serve either Poland or Russia. It spoils the interests and reputations of both countries in the international arena. Donald Tusk's cabinet also abandoned the construction of the Baltic pipe gas pipeline. This investment was finally completed last September by the law and justice government. It made Poland independent of Russian gas. The scale of these ties between politicians of the current opposition and Russia, the scale of Russia's influence in what was once a communist state, is the biggest taboo of Polish politics after 1989. The Commission investigating Russian influence on national politics is to function similarly to the Reprivatization Verification Commission in Warsaw, allowing it to continue its work in the next parliamentary term. If the bill is passed by the same when it returns from the Senate and signed by the President, work could begin as early as the summer.